I usually do on a typical day. Well, this is a Sunday, so there's no going to be working out or anything, but there's going to be some cardio, which I'm getting ready for now. It's going to be a fasted cardio mission. So I'm just kind of waking up a little bit, getting ready, going to put my shoes on, headphones in, going to get ready to rock. But after that, then going to kind of go into a typical day of what I eat. And uh, it is food prep day being Sunday, so I'm going to go shopping, gonna grab some food, going to prepare some food, and uh, you're going to follow along. So hopefully you enjoy, and uh, welcome. bit overcast but it's been a nice walk and as you can tell a lot of other people are joining in on the cardio craze trying to burn those calories in the morning about halfway through the journey got another half an hour to go kind of just making a loop around kind of so as you can see started in a little bit more of the dog path and then looped around to the beach walking on the strand here and then gonna head back for a nice uh, bro breakfast usually just a protein shake and then going from there and then do some shopping Time to make the super protein drink. This is my mainstay after any fasted cardio, and normally just actually every morning. Um, I don't usually eat a full breakfast right when I get up. So if I'm meeting Hudson uh, for a workout, I'll go ahead and make this shake real quick in the mornings before leaving. It's just kind of easy to throw together, tastes delicious, it gives enough proteins and, and uh, vitamins and minerals and stuff like that for the body to feel satiated and feel good and strong. And uh, so, and then for the, the mornings I don't meet Hudson to work out, doing the fasted cardio, I'll do the cardio and then come back immediately, have this shake, mix it up as you're gonna see now, and then wait maybe an hour or two, depending on how long I feel like it needs to digest, and then I'll have like a full breakfast. So, get ready for the amazing super protein drink, Buff Dude style. Now, it might look like sludge, but this is actually pretty good. Oh yeah, that frozen banana, that's a good trick. So make sure you peel your bananas before you put them in the freezer, unlike I did the first time I tried it. And uh, it's a hell of a mess trying to get those skins off once they're frozen. So peel them, freeze them, and then you just throw them in a shake in the morning, and damn, it tastes like a nice smoothie. It's perfect, so try it out. So it's time to go to the store, grab some food. Here's the fridge looking a little barren and the thing is with food um, for me in particular is I usually only shop a week at a time you know you get the kind of the perishables in you know if you shop too much if you have too much especially being someone single that you know I'm not feeding a lot other than myself if you get too much at a time stuff goes bad pretty quickly so I usually just shop for one week um, like today on Sunday prepare some of the food or just cook it as I go and uh, so I'm gonna get some fish, um, gonna get some almond milk, just kind of the bare essentials, not a huge shopping day, but we're just gonna go to the market and kind of see what I pick out. I'm gonna make a list, write it all down, and that way when I get to the market, when I get to the grocery store, I won't forget anything. I don't go too heavy on you know making complex meals, keep it pretty simple. I hope you'll enjoy this little journey and trip to the grocery store, and uh, we'll see what they got. Sunday market. It gets a little crazy in there, but we got what we needed. And as you can see here, we got the Brussels sprouts, we got the salmon, egg whites, kind of just the bare essentials. Um, got some white wine because I'm going to poach some salmon, um, put some leeks on there um, with some mustard. It's kind of a cool recipe I like to stick with, so you see that a little bit later. I'll usually kind of stick that around lunch or dinner, depending. Um, and maybe like a weight, 
uh, white flaky fish, a little bit of leaner meat, um, you know, in the evenings or during the week. But I do have actually frozen cod that um, that's in my freezer at this point. And I usually like to try to get fresh fish. Um, I would recommend that, but you know, sometimes it's hard because we were talking about earlier where it's perishable items, it can go bad fairly quickly if things are fresh. So sometimes it's just easier to get frozen foods and that way you can just pull it out of the freezer, unfreeze it, and then cook it for later and you can have it in there for an extended period of time. So uh, yeah, that's just the bare essentials here. And um, now time to actually make a full breakfast. So got the protein shake earlier after the fasted cardio, went to the market, had that protein digest a bit in the stomach, and then now I'm hungry again. Kind of always hungry, but um, now time to make a full meal. meal of the day it is lunch and uh, just been doing a lot of cleaning laundry stuff like that usually do on a normal Sunday and as you can see here um, it's a pretty big meal this is kind of more of the food preps type meal I'm just adding a bunch of food together in this one in particular it's gonna be shrimp so I had some frozen shrimp I had thawed it the day before in the fridge and today I'm cooking it up with some Brussels sprouts and I cut up an onion added some onions for a little extra flavor there and then I'm gonna cook some quinoa too. So I'm cooking more than enough, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have my share for lunch, and then I'm gonna put the rest of it in the fridge for later so I can just kinda of reheat it on the stove. I don't have a microwave, so I usually just throw things on the stove for a little bit, just kinda of reheat it on low heat. And uh, then for dinner, I planned on doing the poached salmon with the white wine, the leeks, um, a little bit of mustard on there, so I'll kinda of show you guys that recipe. Really easy, it's really nutrition, good, really moist. Um, some people might not like that word, but it is true. And uh, so now it's just a waiting game to kind of let this, this let this lunch cook. So it'll probably be around maybe 15 minutes or so. We'll see, because I'm just gonna constantly stir it up since there's a lot on there. And then I'm gonna cook the quinoa up after that, put it in a bowl and to eat it and it's good to go. Um, me in particular, I usually just like to kind of throw a bunch of stuff together. Uh, it's a lot easier that way, you kind of cook it all at once and then you're kind of done. Um, you cook things separately, so you can cook a bunch of Brussels sprouts or any kind of greens for that matter on their on their own and put them in the fridge for later, all the lean meats on their own, so on and so forth. But uh, to me, kind of putting all in one adds a little bit of flavor and you just get it all done in one, um, one shot too. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Got a little bored, cooped up there in the apartment, making all those meals. Sunday's perfect day to relax, play a video game. So went to the electronics store Best Buy, picked up the, uh, the new South Park game. Played the first one, loved it. It's fun as hell. I love South Park. So heading home, pop this thing in and see what it's all about. It's dinner time now. It's the last big meal of the day. So just making the salmon, the poached salmon as you can see. I uh, poured a little bit of white wine in there with some water. Um, just about the level of the salmon itself and uh, kind of season the salmon a little bit, you know, cut up the leeks, and then put slather a little uh, Dijon mustard on there. It's really gonna help with the flavor and the taste there. So then you can lay the salmon right in the saucepan, bring it to a boil. Once it kind of hits a boil, go ahead and turn it off and it's gonna slowly cook it. Um, it's about 10, 15 minutes or so. On top of that, you're gonna get some more Brussels sprouts, just cooking them up on the stove top here. And this is gonna make more than I need tonight. So what I'm gonna do is just portion it out, what I want tonight, and then eat it and put the rest in the fridge to have for later. So I have now two um, extra meals basically uh, for tomorrow, ready to go for a Monday. I don't really like to schedule too far ahead and have too much food, um, just for my personal schedule because I don't really need to. I have the time to be able to cook uh, pretty much every day. So I'll usually just make enough so that way I won't have to worry about it on a Monday or the next day or so on. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So. Last big meal, the next meal I'll probably make right before bed is uh, some Greek yogurt mixed in with some protein powder and maybe like an apple or something, something really simple. Um, and that's usually around an hour or so before bedtime. Just kind of hit that last that last snack and uh, really try to get my calories to where I want them. 
If you're interested about getting a full breakdown uh, meal plan, we're going to be coming out with a cutting program very soon, been working on a long time. So it's gonna have an example of what I usually eat throughout the day with the meals, the calories, the macronutrient breakdowns, ratios, and also Hudson's as well. So it kind of gives you a good indication of where we both kind of stay at as far as uh, when we're trying to lean out a little bit. Right now, just kind of, I'm hitting mainly maintenance, but as soon as we kind of get towards that cutting plan or program, at the first of the year, we're gonna really hit it hard and um, kind of follow the programs that are laid out in, uh, in the 12-week program, the cutting program. So hopefully enjoyed pretty much this process, cooking process. You know, not a lot of stuff on a Sunday, uh, uh, you know, other than some cleaning, some laundry, some cooking. Um, if you guys like it, hopefully, you know, um, go ahead and comment and uh, let us know if you wanna see more of these type of videos. Um, maybe we'll try to pack them uh, full of a little bit more information or, or just kind of fun stuff. So anyways, I'm going to wait for this to finish cooking. I'm going to eat it and uh, I'll see you soon.